Hello. Hey guys, we're back with another munch pack. This one is a few weeks old. We're just now getting to it. So Hopefully gee, it doesn't taste like laundry them. detergent because, because it was on, on the, the washing washer. machine. Tell them what a munch pack is, Jude. A, a munch pack is a special box that you get snacks from around the world. Um, you can either choose the mini pack, five, which my cousin did. Um, um, 10, which is what we did, or 20, which is what the family pack. Yeah. Right. You can also, for a couple extra dollars, do what? Get a straw. Sodas from around the world. And also, um, and also we get a straw. Okay, you did get a bonus straw one, one evening. Now, this is what I'm looking forward to one month. This is the wrap snack icon. We already got this. Big Papa <laughs> Cookout Barbecue, the notorious B.I.G. <laughs> Hi, Jude. I love it when you call me Big This is from the United <laughs> States, and these crisp and crunchy chips are me. flavored <laughs> with a B.I.G. mix of sweet and smoky barbecue seasonings with the, that will transport you to a backyard summer cookout. I'm just... Would, you just say, I love it when you call me Big Papa. Throw your hands in the air like you's a true player. Oh, that was good. You like those? I'm just going in. Ooh, they smell like barbecue potato chips. That's what they are. Actually, like yeah, yeah, but I'm just going to eat one. Just okay. one? You're just sampling right now? Alright, what's okay. next? Okay, what do we have next? Um, Ziggy yeah. marinated nacho cheese peanuts. Hang on. Get the one that put Daddy that, has. Put that down. Let's Where look is for Ziggy. From? These marinated peanuts are flavored with a smooth and savory nacho cheese. And this protein pack snacks keeps your belly full and your energy high. This is from Bulgaria. I can't open Bulgaria. That. Bulgaria. Oh, that was spicy. That that was spicy. Go ahead, Ziggy. Try a nacho cheese peanut. Can you have them? Oh my gosh, these are. This is the smallest print. I feel like Andrea German trying to read these. Yeah, it's just peanuts. Let's see what we got. Oh, Jude, she doesn't really like peanuts. Uh, uh, uh. Juice <laughs> right there. Here, There's just put it on this right paper. There. Oh, you want to spit it out? Don't spit it out on cam. Oh, you got it on my finger. Great. Oh, he's dripping. Oh, dripping drool. Dripping drool. And this, <laughs> folks, is the grossness is why you attend these videos. Take a drink. They're delicious. I think these taste delicious. Exactly what they say. Now it's your cheese peanuts. Alright, what's next? Right. So gross. No. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just picked these up. Old Dutch baked ketchup chips. From Canada. Oh. Oh. I Canada. These classic Canadian favorites, these perfectly baked potato chips have a delicious ketchup seasoning that will leave you coming back for more with every bite. You know, oh, if it Canada. says ketchup, if it says ketchup, I'm all in. <laughs> Uh, if it, if it's, um, it's not covered in ketchup. It's just supposed to have a ketchup flavor. So Jude actually doesn't eat condiments. Part of part of this munch pack was like trying to get him to try some new things. Uh, you can see how that's going. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm gonna tell you. Oh wow, these taste like straight up ketchup. They smell or taste. They smell exactly like ketchup. And they're baked, not fried, so they're probably better for you. They're ahead, 130 Jude, calories one. for the whole bag. I can smell the ketchup. Yeah, it's like, over straight, here. It it's like, like straight up ketchup. Heinz. Mm -hmm. Smells like Heinz. Like Don't spit it out. Don't, Don't spit, spit it out, it out on camera. Just drink something. Just drink something. If you take the last I think it's all right. Mommy's got two snacks now that she likes. I'm only I'm I'm trying to watch my eating, so I'm only gonna eat one chip. But Nefiz Rono Cocoa. Thank you. Chocolate cookie sandwiches sandwiching delicious vanilla cream. 
These cookies are bursting with chocolate and vanilla flavor, reminding us of why we love them so much. Sounds like an Oreo. It looks exactly like an Oreo. Moldova. So I'm oh, I'm gonna, gonna love this. Which it. is where that gentleman was from on 90 Day, 90 Day Fiance. 90 Day Fiance. I know y'all are watching 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> We love it. Especially Dave and Ann. <laughs> Dave and Nanny. Oh yeah, we like Dave and Nanny. Alright, there you go. Like an Oreo. Like Oreo. It definitely um definitely appears to be like an Oreo. Oreo. It's, it's a little lighter than an Oreo. Ugh. Do you like that? Yes, I love it. Okay. Great. These look really good. Okay. Can you come back to this one here? Alright, what's next? Hang on, let me find it in our book. That's good. That is some good stuff. Okay. Metal de Vinici Teresa. Chocolate creamed chocolate cream filled puffs. Oh, this looks delicious. From Italy. But it's it, weird to me it, it, that these are like imperishable. Seems strange. These crunchy, perfectly glazed pastries is filled with sweet bakery quality chocolate cream so you can bring Italy a little Italy home to you. I have been to Italy one time and I am not sure about bakery quality coming out of this pack, but the packaging is beautiful. Yes. My bet is because it's glazed, you may like it. It's like a little glaze, like sugary donut, cookie, like donut. cookie sure donut, kind of thing. A little chocolate on the inside. A little chocolate on the inside. That's three and a half out of ten. We'll take another bite. You didn't get any chocolate. Okay, three and a half out of five. Three and a half out of five, and then we're halfway there, right there. Yeah, it is like a little flaky pastry. The chocolate is kind of hard to get to, but it get is on, in there. Honey. All right, what's next? Yeah. All right, let's yeah. see what we got next. What is this? Our basset hound is sitting underneath us trying to get some of the crumbs. Jacques chocolate crepes. I'll do it. The stack is in the ultimate crepe portability and just as taste right over the wrapper as a microwave. Top it with whipped cream and a sweetness from Frost. Sacred. Frost. Sacre bleu. <laughs> so it says to put whipped cream on it. I mean, I guess you could put whipped cream on anything. So this is like also crepe with chocolate. Yeah, like flaky chocolate in the middle. I am not eating that. You are trying that, or we're not going to do this. Crepe is like a pancake. It's like a flat pancake. You don't have to eat the whole thing, but you do have to try it. Don't spit it out. Don't. Take a drink. Take a drink. Tough love, people. <laughs> Tough love. It's a texture thing. All right, moving on past the crepe. No, no, I tasted that. It's horrible. You haven't tried this. It looks like Nutella. I want to revisit these peanuts. I want to revisit us. Hanuda wafer. Smooth yet rich tasting hazelnut filling is sandwiched between some seriously delicious vanilla wafers. This makes for a perfectly sweet snack. It's from Germany. So it just looks like a vanilla wafer with chocolate or Nutella in it. Oh, they're individually wrapped too. That's they nice. They are. Look, a little square like that. To me, as soon as you say hazelnut spread or Nutella, you really can't go wrong. Just got chocolate in there. Try a little nibble. Mm -hmm. Wait, first I gotta okay. eat this Oreo. Official sure it's done. Well, we have an audience, so you have to make it quick. We still got a couple things left in the box. Three um, things. There you go. Which I'm interested about these. Oh. Okay, that is gross. It's good. You don't like it? Yeah, I don't. That's a shame. All that hazelnut wasted. I know, right? All the hazelnut that had to die to make that cookie. <laughs> All right, what's next? We're going to do the next because these look really interesting to me. Zazzer's Rounds Strawberry. Flip open these pa this pack of these strawberry fruit draggies. Sit down. Each like bite it. is coated with I a sweet like outer this. shell that, that reveals a delicious strawberry chew fruit candy underneath. It's from the United Kingdom. 
And I thought you were going to say the United States. I've no. never seen this before. And this is my, um, this is probably going to be my favorite of the bunch because it tastes like um, um, my favorite fruit. So Let's they see. look like... Mentos. Yep, they look like Mentos. What's Mentos? It's a candy. Are you supposed to suck on them or chew them? This is white. Oh right. my gosh, can you guys see the print? Yeah, I am never reading that. I cannot tell you anything about this product. Other than it tastes it like strawberry. Chill. Yeah. It's like a jawbreaker. How's it taste? It's good. I mean, good. it hasn't gotten spit out on the table yet, so I would imagine. By the way, we have, have paper down. Later. Yeah, we're not just putting we're all this just down on the table. I'm out of juice. I'm out of juice. We only have two things left. Yeah. Oh, I need to spit it out. All right, what do we got next? I need to spit it out. No, you don't. Eat it. Okay. He's, he's probably not going to like this, but I'll, well, we can try it. So mm -hmm. it, this is, looks like fruit by the foot, the finny mm -hmm. roller. Finny roller, let me find it. Looks like sour patch and fruit by the foot all together. Finny Roller. There it is. Finny Roller Watermelon Candy. Delicious sour watermelon flavor rolled up in a gummy candy, it's then like coated gum. with sweet sugar like for an extra pop of flavor in and your I'm mouth. And this is from Spain. Oh, why does Spain have all the sour things? That's true. We have learned that. It, it looks like, like it looks like fruit by the foot and sour those, patch kids together. Those candies you used to get from the video store, sour straws or something like that. Mm -hmm. It tastes like watermelon candy. Take a bite, Jane. I'm just kidding. No, yeah, take it's a better bite. if you just bite it. I don't know. I'm, bite. It's really, <laughs> it's really sour. <laughs> Oh, took a little cake in a minute. Eat the cake. All right, what do we have left? We can come back to that later when we're off camera. I'm just kidding. I'm not like Ike Turner. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, last one. Oh, no. Five sour. sour blue raspberry tongue painters. These super soft and super sour blue raspberry licorice Ugh. pieces oh, no. are filled with a sweet, yummy cream to balance out the tart flavor that will leave your tongue painted blue. And this is from Canada. Straight up blue. Oh, I can't eat this. Y'all eat it? Yep. Try a little bite. It's just sour. Sweet in the middle. You licked it. You didn't even try it. No. It's already. It's very bright. Very, oh, oh go this way. Sorry, my visual spatial reasoning is lacking. Very blue, coated in sugar, every kid's dream, what except do you for eat? Jude. The, the strawberry. Jude thing. has revisited the Razors. strawberry zazers. These things. Thumbs up. That's it, right? That's it. All right, thanks for joining us, everybody, and watching Jude spit out all this delicious food from around the world. We'll see you I'm next so time. I'm so glad I spent money on it. Check Here's out Munch fun. Pack. Totally worth it if you're feeling adventurous and you want to try things from a wilder world. Not so great for Jude. And if your kids will eat something. <laughs> okay, push stop. I'm working on it.